what's up guys gr here dungeon strength conditioning office um it's a big mess right now so don't focus on that focus on the content today we're going to talk a little bit about speed camps um and why why you're getting ripped off signing up for these speed camps and why um they tend to be a gigantic waste of time and money for both uh you the parent and you the athlete um Speed camps are kind of a bad deal, uh, or at least most of them are. Um, they can be anything from a one-day sort of clinic where they tell you they're going to improve your sprint technique and stride frequency and all these things in a period of eight hours um, up to a week-long speed camp where all they're doing is speed work, whatever they call it. Um, you know, Typically, they'll use some sort of big word or multiple big words in their in their marketing and advertising and sales process to try to get you to sign up. Um, oh, you're gonna do biomotor uh, efficiency and neuromuscular efficiency and biomechanical analysis and sprint technique and blah 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 fast twitch muscle fibers and um, all these things that frankly they they don't know anything about. Um, oftentimes, if you push these people. On those questions and you ask them well what are you what are you talking about um, when you when you talk about uh, sprint technique and they won't be able to explain what they mean to you if you drill it down to sort of the nitty-gritty if you push them on the answer um, typically you know when you're dealing with somebody who knows their stuff when you can get it a little more detailed um, so if they say sprint technique, and they're well, what are you doing for sprint technique? And they answer, oh, well, you know, we just, we want to make sure that every athlete knows how to sprint properly, and it's going to help them to run faster. Um, and Because that's how every single one of them talks, right? Uh, and the the issue becomes, whenever you try to ask them again, well, what do you mean exactly? I mean, how are you going to make them sprint? What is sprinting correctly even mean how are you going to help them do that like what what actions are you going to take what coaching are you going to do to help him to have better sprint mechanics and typically at that point it becomes oh well you know we're going to do um, some drills and some exercises that we use and it helps our athletes get better sprint technique we're going to do some of this and some of that and then you push them and well how do those help Sprint technique. What are they? And they can't come up with an answer for their question, um, or for your question. And if it is an answer, it's something that kind of leaves you feeling uneasy about it. You just paid this person, but you know, uh, multiple hundreds of dollars, sometimes more, to to make your kid faster or to make you faster if you're an athlete, and they don't know how to answer the questions on what you're paying them to do. Um, go into the doctor's office, ask them, and you're getting heart surgery. Well, well, well doc, what, are, what exactly are we doing to my heart here? And if he can't tell you, if he can't explain the, what procedure they're going to complete, are you going to, to the dentist's office and you ask them, okay, I'm going to get my wisdom teeth pulled out. What's happening here? And they can't answer you? Run the other way, get your money out of their hands, and, and go somewhere else. Um, it's it's rampant in the strength and conditioning field in the athlete training field because parents aren't very informed on this stuff and it's not their fault um, you know I don't I'm not going to be as informed as a dentist on what the heck is going on with my teeth or as informed as a doc as a doctor on what's going on with a heart or whatever um, it's not my job and I don't have time to know that stuff but those professions are much more regulated than, frankly, what we do. Um, it, our measurement has to be based on results. It has to be made based on trust. It has to be based on on whether or not you're allowed to call BS on us. And one of the things I tell all of my kids, all of my athletes, all my parents, um, is that you have the authority to call bullshit on me at any time. And if I can't answer you, if I can't make you feel comfortable about what you're doing with us, then I'm not doing my job right. Um, so anyway, speed. Let's talk a little about speed and, and one of the reasons that speed camps are so bad. Um, so, so speed really is a very basic formula. Um, little high-tech whiteboard here. 
going to be stride rate multiplied by stride length. Okay, So stride rate, how fast we move our legs, how fast we're, we're getting that turnover. Stride length, how much ground we cover with each of those strides. So it makes sense. Uh, somebody that's covering this much ground with each step but they're moving their legs that fast won't be going as fast as somebody who's covering more ground but moving their legs at the same rate. Okay? Um, that's, that's pretty intuitive when you, when you drill it down to that. Um, now, now here's the thing, and here's one of the big issues with speed camps and, and what they get cute with. Um, they get cute with trying to claim that they're going to create these gigantic improvements in stride rate and how fast basically you take your steps. The fact of the matter is, um, and if you want to challenge me on it, that's fine. Um, I've got my degree in neuroscience back here if you want to fight me on, on neuromuscular stuff and, and neuromuscular uh, theories and, and how it works. Um, we, can, we can go to town on it if you like. I'd love to. Um, but the, the fact of the matter is stride rate is much more difficult to, impl to improve than stride length. It's something that's much more inherent, um, particularly as athletes get older. It's something that can be changed um, more readily in a younger athlete. So maybe before they're going through puberty, it's much more plastic, uh, much more able to adapt and be improved. Uh, but later on, it's much, more, it's much more difficult to improve. And it doesn't improve as much. It has a lower ceiling of improvement than stride length. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. It might have to be in another video. But the issue with the stride rate stuff, one of the big buzzwords, one of the big um, buzz tools, fads, whatever you want to call it right now, are the speed ladders. Everybody thinks you've got to have speed ladders because such and such coach has them at college combines and such and such coach does them with his, you know, super athletes that if they sat on their rear ends and ate Twinkies all day, they'd still run a 4-4. Um, the fact of the matter is, it, odds are, in 99, well, 99% of you parents and athletes um, don't have a kid or you are not yourself um, talented enough to do that, unfortunately. Um, and don't feel bad. I was in the same boat. I wasn't talented. I, I've, I've, you've probably seen it before if, if you've been following me for a while, um, but I ran a 5-5. Uh, five, five. 40. I was slower than my lineman as a freshman, um, and eventually I ended up getting time uh, at a 4-5 in cleats on the grass on a wet field. 4-5, um, I was the only guy other than our NFL tryout guy um, to run in the 4-5s uh, in college, and I was also timed um, at a 4-4. Four four. Uh, this was on the track, so, you know, add a little to that, but... 4-4 for a former slow guy, and I was all conference in track and field as a sprinter and a thrower. Um, anyway, I, I got fast even though I wasn't supposed to be. Um, so that's what I specialize in, is helping the kids that aren't fast get fast, and the ones that are take it to that next level. Um, I've worked with some pretty talented sprinters that were conference champions, and, and again, th these formulas sort of hold true. Anyway. I can tell you I had never done a speed ladder, ladder with any of them. Um, please don't go into, if, if a speed camp is trying to tell you they're going to improve your stride rate and neuromuscular efficiency and make you faster with the speed ladder, run the freaking other way because you're wasting your time and your money. If you want to do drills for footwork and you want to do some stuff with that, eh, okay, that's your thing. Um, put some tape in the ground and 12 by 12 squares and have your kid run through it every once in a while. It, you're going to do the same thing as having a fancy speed ladder um, and some goofball coach that acts that uses big words and doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. Um, we're coming up on 10 minutes, so that's, that's going to be the uh, basically the first taste of, of, of sort of your consumer guide to speed camps. Um, Here's, here's the takeaway from that, from that little spill. Number one, ask questions. If the coach or the director or whoever it is that's going to be working with you or your child cannot answer your questions when you dig deeper into what the heck they're going to be doing that week, if they talk about sprint technique <clears throat> and you ask them how and they say, 
oh, we're going to do some drills. And you say, well, how does that drill help my kid? How is that going to help him and his issue <clears throat> get better at sprinting? And he can't answer you and he leaves you feeling uneasy about it. You need to step away. Step away. If they can't answer you and they make you feel good about it and you think they know what they're doing, then great. I hope you work with them and I hope you get great results. But number one, ask questions. Number two, speed ladders suck run the other way period run the other way and if you ever see me playing with a speed ladder it's not for footwork stuff maybe for quarterbacks doing some quick feet for position specific drills please feel free to walk up and kick me in the nuts that's all I'm saying um, Forgive me for not uh, not pulling punches here and not sugarcoating everything, um, but it's something I feel very strongly about because I had been, as an athlete in my athletic career, sort of schemed and fooled by these so-called speed gurus that never got anybody like me fast, um, and I don't want that to happen to you and your kid. So this is GR at the dungeon. Get ready to get up in the morning and turn some more kids into beasts and not just sit there and use big words and talk about it. 